On this video, we're gonna learn how to solve a proportion. So let's go ahead and go over the definition of a proportion. So a proportion is an equation in which two ratios are set equal to each other. To solve a proportion, we use cross multiplication. Now remember, a ratio is, we write it, we can write it in three different ways if you watch the ratio video. Um, but the main way we're gonna set this up for a proportion is as a fraction. So you can see down here, I have this fraction, x over 12 equaling this other fraction, six over eight. So it's two fractions equal to each other, and that is a proportion. So cross multiplication literally means we're gonna go across from top to bottom, and we're gonna do that twice, because there's a top and a bottom, and there's a top and a bottom. So we're gonna go from left to right, and from right to left, okay? Um, so we're gonna cross over, so I have x times eight, so you can see that over here, and then I'm gonna cross over the other direction, and I have six times 12. So if you notice there's an equal sign between them, because there's an equal sign here. I'm not changing the equation. What I'm doing is I'm eliminating the fractions. I'm trying to un, um, simplify the problem, okay? So by multiplying by 12, I'm kind of multiplying both sides by 12, but it eliminates itself on the left side and it brings it over to the right side. And same thing with the eight. If I multiply by eight on both sides, it eliminates the eight on this side and brings it over to the left side. So cross multiplication just does that kind of quickly. Okay, um, it's that same idea um, as undoing the division. All right, so now I have um, 8 times x and 12 times 6, so I get 72. Okay, so the last thing I want to do to find my x is go um, divide by 8 on both sides because I don't want to know what 8x is, I want to know what just x is, so the opposite of multiplication is division. So when I divide 8 by 8, I get um, just x, and then 72 divided by 8 is 9. All right. So you can also use um, a comparison and say, you know, how did I get from 12 to 8? And then use that same concept to go backwards from 6 to x. But as we move forward and we're using binomials instead of just um, a single monomial up here, one number, um, that will become more difficult. So you want to get used to this cross multiplication idea because you can compare the numbers and say, okay, well, you know, how did I get from 12 to 8? It's not going to be a whole number that I divided by, but it'll be a fraction, and then I can just go backwards and use that same idea um, to go from 6 to, to um, x um, to get to 9. But again, we want to get used to this cross multiplication idea. All right, let's try one more time. So 8 and 4, that's our first multiplication. So you can see that, 8 times 4. And then we have 5 times u for our second cross multiplication. Again, they equal each other. The equal sign does not just disappear. Um, so now 8 times 4, we get 32. And the 5u, I'm just going to smush them together. We don't want to have the dot there anymore. Um, and then I'm going to undo the multiplication here. I don't want to know what 5u is. I want to know what just u is. So I'm going to divide by 5 on both sides. 32 divided by 5, well, that's not going to be a whole number because it doesn't go in evenly. But I get a decimal, and it tells me to round to the nearest tenth. So if you do have to do any rounding, make sure you round just to one decimal place because that's a tenth. So if you had more numbers, you go to the next number from the one you're rounding. If it's 5 or bigger, you round up. If it's four or smaller, you keep it the same, okay? Um, so U has to be 6.4. All right, so that is solving proportions using cross multiplication. I hope that helped, and I'll see you in the next video.